his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. He needs to shorten them up. And round number three is underway. Ariel was impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Klitschko's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little bit. Yeah, he'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Good looking jab there. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vladimir Klitschko. punch from his opponent, and then a good counter by Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful! That right hand over the top lands flush. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. It makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Vladimir Klitschko's the victim of a powerful hook. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Ariel was left now getting into the mix. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Don't stand in front of it. About yourself. Still win this one. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but how do you... And bang and away he goes! A sharp knifing punch that back power hand just scored the knockdown. One, two, three, four, five. So Ariola able to rise to his feet after going down. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Able to cover up that gut. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Vladimir Klitschko is a well-rounded fighter. And right now, Vladimir is showing you what he can do defensively. Very sound, keeping those arms up and blocking well. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Klitschko's damaged by that shot upstairs. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. A well-targeted hook landed by Vladimir Klitschko. That's what I want to see. home with the uppercut. A solid, true uppercut by Vladimir Klitschko. Ariola's right hand scores well. Keep your distance. Nice work to the mid 
section with the left. Chris Ariola's right hand working well that time. He scored well. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye. You got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute. Try again. You can trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Chris Ariola's got to be so careful here, Teddy. He was knocked down in the last round, and you know his opponent's going to be gunning for him here at the start of this round. But this is where you walk a tightrope, so to speak, because if he's too careful, as you alluded to, and guess what? His opponent walks in, and the fight's going to get stopped. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but he's also got to pitch something at his opponent, chuck something at his opponent to keep him off a little bit, too. And he just holds on there. Ariel is doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do a countering on the back end. Vladimir Klitschko's ability to put together those two, three, four punch combinations, that's what makes Vladimir so dangerous when he goes into that mode. Yeah, one other thing with it, Joe, the power. He has power with those punches, unlike his brother. His brother doesn't really put it together with really bad intentions. But Vladimir, yes, he does. A well-targeted jab that time. his target, he lands a straight right. Vladimir Klitschko's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Oh, what an exchange! Solid straight right hand. Final 10 seconds. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll...